Russian view of world news on the latest news channel. Watch the video to the end and subscribe. Further only more interesting. Russia will respond to us withdrawal from INF treaty by developing new missiles. The expert assessed the prospects for the revival of frontline missile brigades. Russia begins the development of short and medium range missiles. This official statement was made by Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov at a non proliferation conference in Moscow. According to the minister, this should be the SS Mira response to their withdrawal from the Treaty on Short and Medium Range Missiles in Treaty. The background of the issue is this, in August this year, as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo officially announced that the states would unilaterally withdraw from the INF Treaty. The reason for this charge was the accusation of Russia in violation of the provisions of the treaty. Meanwhile, almost immediately after the statement by Pompeo, in the United States, tests were carried out on a practically finished rocket banned by the INF Treaty. Commenting on the published video of this test launch, President Vladimir Putin emphasized that Russia, as it turned out, was right when, at all levels, it stated that Washington was engaged in the creation of missiles prohibited by the treaty, which, in fact, was the real reason for their withdrawal from the INF Treaty. President Putin then noted that in response to the actions of the Americans, it would not be difficult for Russian designers to land marine missiles permitted under the INF Treaty and to equip them with ground-based missile systems if necessary. At the same time, he said that Russia was not the first to plan to deploy these complexes. And now, speaking at a non-proliferation conference in Moscow, Sergei Lavrov also emphasized that Russia would not deploy missile systems of this class in any region of the world until similar American missiles appear there. This is being done, according to the minister, in order not to close the window of opportunity on agreements in the missile sphere. The leading military expert, editor-in-chief of Arsenal of the Fatherland magazine Viktor Murakovsky said about what missiles and in what time frame Russia can create in response to us actions. The fact that we, after signing the INF Treaty, froze the development of our medium-range missiles does not mean at all that we have lost the scientific and technical backlog created earlier, the expert is sure. If you look at those developments that were carried out in the mid-80s on medium-range missiles, specifically on the Pioneer system, and on other missiles, too, then everything that was planned then, we are now able to implement in the shortest possible time. According to Murakovsky, today, on the basis of those developments, ballistic missile systems capable of blocking all of Europe and complexes with already modern cruise missiles will be created. Moreover, both ground and air-based. Honestly, we are ahead of the United States in the development of medium-range missiles both then and now, the expert believes. Indeed, if we talk about American projects such as Pershing-2, today their analogues will require development from the very beginning. We are not so. The USA had enormous potential and a scientific and technological reserve during the creation of missiles of this class. That is why all reductions in the INF Treaty primarily concerned these missiles. 
The Americans then were very frightened by the pioneer complexes. They sought their destruction most of all. And the fact that we also included Oka missile systems in the INF Treaty, which flew 400 came and did not fall under contractual obligations, as it was Gorbachev's unilateral initiative. Viktor Murakovsky notes that since the signing of the INF Treaty, the treaty between the USR and the USA was signed by Gorbachev and Reagan on December 8, 1987, the development of electronics has gone far ahead. That is why today analogues of those missile systems will be created already on a new element base. At the same time, it will be possible to implement such projects quickly. Moreover, the expert says, with the collapse of the INF Treaty, we can expect the return of such structures as the Frontline Missile Brigade in our armed forces. Now we do not have such teams. There are missile brigades with Iskander complexes, which are part of the combined arms armies. And we both liquidated the frontline ones during the signing of the agreement, and have not yet revived it. Now it is quite possible the revival of such frontline missile brigades just with medium-range missiles.